guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager, and today I am collaborating with B from Bum B DIYs. I will link her channel down below, and she is hosting a challenge for all the holidays for the Dollar Tree DIYs for five dollars and under. I'm her first host for Valentine's Day, so welcome everyone, and I hope you had a really great time in, if you're a creator or YouTuber, creating this video. I know it was a bit of a challenge for me because we had to come up with a creation for Valentine's Day, whether it be decor or gift for Valentine's Day, and everything had to be from the Dollar Tree, excluding things like obviously like paint or adhesive or glue, tape, that sort of thing. But if you're embellishing your item, it had to be from the Dollar Tree and it had to be included in your cost. So let's get started. I will show you what I have created or what I've gotten first to make some creations. Now I will link the playlist down below in the description box along with Bumby DIY's um, channel in my description box. And I will also put it in the i cards above. So please, guys, make sure that you watch all of the videos if you participated. It's really important to support the other participants and to show your support and respect for them. So make sure you do that. And also leave a comment. So let's get started. All right. The things that I bought... Now, I was not, <laughs> I went there thinking, oh, I'm going to find it. It's not going to be a big deal. No, I had an issue finding some things, but this is what I end up with. Sorry, my kitty or my dog puppy is barking. So we have these doilies. Now, I've always wanted to buy these, but I never did. They came in white and like an off-white. Now you can tea stain these a little darker if you want to, but um, I don't think I'm going to have to. Now I bought this because I, sorry you guys, I wanted to get some um, ribbon that was a lace, but they were out. So I was happy to have found this. The next thing that I got was, yes, another one of the red kitchen towels. The next thing that I got and you guys are going to be like, oh, you and the chamois. A car chamois. So I had, it's like basically cut in half right now because I was starting on it. Some dowels. And this cute little teddy bear form that I already started deconstructing. I took his face off. <laughs> so... Anyways, I wanted to say thank you to Bumby for selecting me for your first co-host. And I look forward to all of the upcoming challenges that are coming up for all the holidays. And let's get started, guys. So, before I start, I just wanted to say, I think I'm trying to bite off a little more than I can chew. <laughs> I'm trying to do two DIYs for five dollars and under rather than just one now if you were to do two DIYs then you could say yeah I did two and I kept it under ten dollars well I'm trying to be a smarty pants and keep it under ten dollars so with this I was originally going to be pulling all of this um, garland stuff off but I realized I really don't have to do that I just need to I pulled off the paper you know things that he had on his face, the eyes, the little ear thingies, and we'll embellish it later. So I push that aside. Then I took half of my chamois and I cut it in half. And I also cut some slits on the side and I'll show you why. There's two sides to the chamois, which I will show you. There's like a, one side seems to be more furry than the other. I'm going to use the furry side. So I'm going to place this chamois on this little bare form. Okay. I cut, 
I made the slits and I'll turn it around to his neck area. So we are going to fold it and glue it like so. Same with up here. We're going to make sure we get like that heart form. We're going to hot glue it. It's going to stick because this is plastic, the form, and it's going to look fabulous. So let me pause and I will do that really quick. All right, guys. So I did finish hot gluing this chamois to the form. It looks like this. It has a form of a bear, but we want to define it like how the Dollar Tree had it. So I'm going to make the little heart um, insert here. I'll be doing the little ears and the mouth and all of that. So there was a little bit of extra fabric here. As you can see, I just tucked it in because you can easily tuck it in and you don't really see it. We're going to cover it. There we go. You don't really see it. It's cute. This is a cute little guy. So I'm going to be using red because I have a lot of red in my Valentine kitchen here. So we're going with that theme. I have my little kitchen towel here. So we are going to cut a heart. So I'm just going to place it on the teddy bear. And I'm actually, how I'm doing it is I'm putting the peak at the corner at the bottom where the peak of the heart would be. Okay, so there we go. We got half the heart done. We just need to cut right like that. Easy peasy. So let me do that. Okay guys, so I cut out all of the parts from the towel. I cut out the ears, the heart, the, the nose, the little smile, the eyes. So I haven't glued anything yet, but this is how it looks so far. And then the whites of the eyes is the extra pieces I got from the back of the chamois. And I think it looks pretty cute. But I might go a step further and do something different. Hold on. All right, guys, here's my little bear. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's so cute. He's like really fuzzy, cozy. So I will show you where I place this little guy in a bit. But let's start. I might even change his smile, but let's start on the second DIY. All right, guys, I'm not even going to lie. I'm a little nervous about doing this next one. I only have, well, basically two-thirds of the, the towel. And <laughs> I have my doilies instead of the ribbon, the lace ribbon, which is fine. So I'm going to be making some lollipops for Valentine's Day. I think they're really cute, and you can stick them. You know, I'll give you some ideas, like in a mug with some real flowers, some real candies, what have you, to your coworker or family or friend. You're going to need the little dowels that we bought at Dollar Tree. And I'm wearing my lovely little necklace from Carol, Bargain Shopping. Thank you, Carol. Love it. Um, thought I'd mention that in case you guys want to go. And she does pop-up sales all the time. Check her out. <laughs> okay, and she's participating in this um, challenge. So go check her out for some jewelry. Okay, so I'm going to fold my towel, what's left of it, okay? Like this. And we're going to be making some pretty little heart-shaped lollipops or whatever. And... I don't know if you want to call them lollipops or I'm trying to figure out what's the best way and I think I'm going to do it this way fold it this way so that I can get maybe two lollipops um, horizontally okay so let me go ahead and cut my first heart and then I'll come back and show you all right guys so I basically folded my towel in half and then cut it so I have a, basically two pieces here that I can cut the heart with and 
same with here, except because this one I had made, um, I'm going to have to, I made the smile and the heart for the bear, so I'm going to have to only have three, maybe I can make a smaller fourth one, but I actually think it's fine just having three little lollipops. So I'm going to cut this, and let's get started. So I have three ready to glue, and so you see this, right? And it's two pieces. All I'm going to do is make a heart shape. Probably, no, I think I'm going to go this way. Cut it this way. So let me do my heart. I'm going to fold it <laughs> like when, when we were in grade school, like this, and cut the heart. So it's going to be a longer heart, but we are going to be stuffing it, so it's fine. So I'm just going to, on camera here, cut it. Now my scissors are not the greatest or the sharpest, because everyone in the household borrows them. Which is fine. <laughs> That's what they're there for. <laughs> But when I need them for crafts, they're dull. <laughs> so, you know, I have actually cut, you're supposed to get foil and cut with them. And then um, that will uh, definitely, I'm, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Sharpen them. And they, it does work. It does work. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, gosh, look how dull they are. Alright, now these are really misshapen, but I will shape them up nicely. So you're just going to shape them up like so. Now for the stuffing, you guys, um, they didn't have stuffing at the Dollar Tree. I guess you could use anything like tissue, newspaper, polyfill if you have it. Um, pretty much anything. I'm going to use my standard, my, my good old, um, paper from when I get things shipped to me from Amazon or the, um, or Walmart. And I love that paper. It's right here. So I'm going to open these up. I knew that, I know they need a little trimming. Oh yeah, they're kind of ugly like that. So, we're going to keep trimming them. I'm going to pause while I continue to trim, and I'll come back. Alright, so here's my first heart. There's two of them. We are just going to hot glue the edges. So that's why they don't have to be perfect, honestly. We're just going to hot glue the edges, and we're going to stuff it with that paper, just like how I did my faux chocolate chip cookies. So hold on while I hot glue it. All right, guys. So all I did was when I cut the doily, okay, I cut the edges and I just hot glued them very rough and rustic all around. Now, if you don't want to see the edges, you could easily, when you, before you hot glue your little heart together, you could put the, um, doily on the inside of it and have like a smooth edge, but I like it like this. This reminds me of like good old fashioned Valentine's. It's on a dowel, so we can, it looks like a little lollipop somewhat. It's really big, so maybe not so much, but I'm going to make three of these puppies. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here's my second one. Look how cute it is. I think it's super cute. It's puffy, and it's vibrant red with a doily around it. So I'm going to work on my third one. I cut it kind of wrong, the third one already. So I need to, I'll show you my mistake. I made a really wide heart by accident, and then the second piece is not going to work for that. So 
I'm going to cut it down. It's no worries. There's no worries. <laughs> so I'll make a smaller one. And it, I like that when you have a group of three, they're all little different sizes, so it's perfect. All right, guys, I finished my little DIY. I kind of wasted a lot of material. I didn't mean to um, have a lot of leftover. I probably could have made a fourth one if I had been careful in planning out the um, cutouts and the hearts. So here they are. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So I would consider these not so much lollipops as even though they are on a stick. Look, this is a big one. So guys, I'm pretty happy with this project. You can put these in like your floral arrangements. Um, you can put them in your tiered tray, like the smaller one. You don't have to put the little dowel on them at the bottom. I think they turned out super cute. They're all a little bit different, and I, I like them actually very much. So I'm really glad I did these. They're so pretty and vintage looking, and they're puffy. Um, you can put them in a wreath as like a pick. They really are like a pick. So whether you use newspaper for the filling or craft paper like I did, wrapping paper that you don't like anymore. Just use it as stuffing and I really love the texture of the towel. So it just adds to the cuteness. And then I'm so glad that I bought the doilies because I have so much left. I kept cutting around and around and it just created the little um, scallops or even, it's just pretty. I like this way better than the ribbon I would have gotten. So there are three sizes, this big one, and they're not perfect. Look at this, guys. I'm okay with that. It's fine to have imperfections in your crafts. I still think it's cute. And then I have this one and this one. This one's super cute, isn't it? So with these three, I can put them anywhere in a wreath, my tear tray. I'm just going to stick them for now because I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but I'll show you in probably a later video. Um, I'm going to stick them in my little tin can that I, it's free. And I have my peppermints in it that I haven't eaten from Christmas. And we all kind of eat them in the household, but I'm going to use that as like, you know what I mean? Like kind of like, um, like filler to make it stand up, right? So this little, you don't have to put it in this obviously, but you can put it in a wreath. Um, like I said, I don't want to be repetitive what I say, but this is cute. I love these and they're totally vintage looking with the doilies. I love them. Okay, so I have these, right? And I can obviously put them anywhere and I will show you where I put them later, probably in the video. And then I also have my little teddy bear. Oh, he's, he's actually really soft. So I like his little smile. I thought I was gonna change it, but I really kind of like it. And I love his big heart on his chest with this little one. I created both of these DIYs for $5. Now, I could have created a fourth heart, but I was kind of wasteful and I wasn't really sure how I was going to do it. So that was like my mistake. But look how cute these are, guys. Let me show you where I'm going to put the little polar bear guy and maybe a couple of the picks. So guys, I just wanted to re reiterate that I still had so much material left over. One whole doily, a ton of dowel sticks, and the other half of the chamois. And, oh, I have more over there. This part of this doily, which I keep just cutting it, and I just make the own scallops. These are perfect. These are better than the ribbon. 
And then, this is why I say I wasted a lot of material, because I could have made easily a fourth little pick. So, I'm not going to show you today where I'm putting these little cute picks, but I really, I love these. I'm so glad I made them. I can use them probably in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you all where I put them. Because I'm going to be doing like one more, probably two more DIYs for Valentine's Day and some gift ideas. So look for that. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. Um, I'm going to show you where I put that little bear. Hold on. So it's nighttime, guys, and the kitties, <laughs> they're all sleepy. Um, so that's Bobcat, Bubby, and hey. Knock it off, Bubby. And this is Egg Roll right here. You can't see her because she's black. She's so sweet, though. Anyways, this whole little vignette, I felt like I didn't have enough, like something to dif differ, um, make it like pop, you know, and differ from the all the gray and the um, galvanized metal. So this little guy really kind of sets the tone it's so cute and it just you can see now the hearts and the silo and the barn so I'm so happy with that and then the pigs all right just to give you an idea I had this at the top of my three-tiered tray and I put um, some cotton stems and now I added this little pick here I think it looks so cute so I'm going to put this back at the top of my tiered tray and just an idea. So for the rest of them, I mean, you can put them in your wreaths, stick it just like a pick in your wreath, or you can just put it in like a little tin like I had. So I made this little tin, which had some leftover peppermints from the holidays, which we still are eating. We like them, and I'm just sticking them in there. The peppermints kind of act like um, pebbles to keep them in place, and look how cute they are. So you can rearrange them however you want, obviously, um, just like a pick. There we go. Oh. So I kind of like it like that. So guys, tons of ideas you can do with this. You don't even have to put the dowel on them because let's say you want to put this on your two or three tier tray. You don't have to add the dowel to it. It's going to be a little puffy heart and that's going to look so cute on your tier tray. So I want to say thank you to Bum B. Thank you B for inviting me for this, your first Dollar Tree DIY, $5 DIY for a seasonal um, challenge. And I'm so thankful that you invited me. And I hope you all will look at everyone in the playlist. I will link that down below. And please make sure that you are subscribed to Bumby and myself. And it's nice to like and subscribe to your fellow participants. So... Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and I love your comments. Please leave me comments and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.